Thank you, Andy, for having me on. Let me just tell you a little bit about me. My name is Keith Kennedy. I'm 32 years old. Never thought I would be in the car business. I, um, yeah. I got into the car business after going through a rough time in my personal life. Uh, my grandmother had passed away and um, I was 20. I was 24 years old. I was flipping cars out of my dad's house. I was living in his basement. I was just coming off of antidepressants and uh, depression medication. And um, I was going through a very rough time in my personal life. And um, my dad said, you're doing so well flipping cars that why don't you go? Why don't you go three minutes up the road and sell cars at a Toyota dealership? And that was Bob Tyler Toyota in Pensacola, Florida. And um, I walked in the doors. They didn't hire me the first two times I went in. And then after I went back the third time, the manager at the time, his name was Michael Campbell. He said, Keith, I'm going to give this over to the right people and we'll give you a call. So I left out of the dealership. Up, the dealership. I was upset. I remember getting in that Geo Metro. It was a 1995. The windows wouldn't roll up. And uh, I just remember leaving there upset, knowing that I didn't get the job. And then he called me whenever I was about a minute away from my dad's house and said, Keith, turn back around. I'm going to give you a shot. And I looked him in his eyes and I told him, I told him the truth. I said, this was the best decision you ever made. I'm not going to let you down. And from that moment, there was just something that happened. It just sparked inside of me. I, I said, who is the top salesman right now? His name was Billy Schultz. And he was sitting out on the bench where everybody used to stand and wait on ups. And I walked out to Billy Schultz and I said, I introduced myself. He made 12 grand that month. And, um, uh, you know, he was a little arrogant to me. I was just a young kid. I was 25 at the time. And, uh, I walked back in those doors and whenever I walk back in those double doors at Bob Tyler Toyota in Pensacola, Florida, there's just something that hit me. And from that moment on, I was the top salesman. I went 26 months in a row with making $12,000 plus for 26 months straight. I was their four time salesman, five time salesman of the year. Actually, it was five time salesman of the year in a row. Um, I made $175,000 my first year in the car business. Didn't know nothing. Now, I wasn't born to be a salesperson. I actually made myself into one by training. I would get onto YouTube. I would watch all the videos, all the free videos. Um, and then I started investing in books. I had started reading Grant Cardone. Um, Andy, actually, you had an objection um, video that you published about four or five years ago um for the payment close the payments too high and money justification and i started doing money justification closes and i just watched my gross profit go up in my units but i didn't always start out at 52 cars which is my highest amount of cars i've ever sold in one particular sure. month without a with no split deals with no bdc deals um no assistant just me delivering every single deal, going on every single test drive. Um, How hard do you but, work? Huh? How hard do you work? I mean, I work hard. Um, I wake up in the morning. Um, I'm at the dealership before anybody else. We open at 8.30 and I'm here by 6.45. Um, but I also like to leave a little bit early. Um, you know, I'll leave around five o'clock, five thirty. Sometimes I don't stay till seven or eight, typically, unless I'm delivering a car. But what I try to do is I try to utilize my time, and uh, you know, try to put an eleven-hour day in at the dealership, and um, you know, that's what I try to do. Tell me what your goals are for this year. My goals for this year, Andy, as me and you've talked about it, is to make four hundred thousand um, dollars. You know, you've got the course zero to 100, and um, that's exactly what my goals are. It's quarterly, is to make $100,000. And how I get there, I mean, I'm, I'm tracking right now. Um, you know, coming off last month, uh, made, I made 30, 32, I, I sent you the uh, pay stub. It was 32,000 yeah. from the dealership, and then another 4,000 from the manufacturers. So that was 36,000 off of 30 cars. Um, 
Keith, can anybody do this? Yes. Talking, I mean, talking to anybody. anybody you got to want this. I've always told people, if you want to do this, um, you can do it, but you can look somebody in their eyes and tell if they want it bad enough. You've got to want it. I mean, you've got to want it bad. I mean, these yeah. guys who sit around in the meetings, they complain, they do this, they do that. You know, they sit on the sidelines. They're talking about who's getting the Internet deals. Where did you get that up from? You know, everybody's talking about what they're not doing um, or they're not talking about what they're not doing. They just want to complain. And, you know, you got to separate yourself from those people and have a plan. Uh, write out your goals hour to hour. You're big on the you're big on the what am I doing every 15 minutes? Um, I've started to analyze my day in that as well. Do something productive in order to drive in a customer, whether it's post a car on Facebook, Craigslist. I mean, in your in your course that you've recently done, I mean, now I'm taking my cars off the lot. I'm taking them to specific locations and I'm taking professional pictures with my iPhone 10. Anybody can do it, you know, and creating professional looking ads. And I mean, it's working. People are calling. I'm getting leads. I'm driving traffic to the dealership and gross profits up and I'm selling more units. I love it, man. Isn't it crazy how if you have the fire in your belly, like yep. you said, you can look a man in the eye and yep. tell if he wants to make it. It isn't about financial. It's about potential. Just like when you started, you didn't have any money. You were in your geometric, right? Five dollars to my name. Guess what, though? You had it in you. Yep. And so many people have it in them. But because they don't have the financial part and they don't feel like they're there, if you don't feel rich right now, you're never going to be rich. Am you're right. right. Yeah. You have to be grateful and blessed in your place and be thankful. And then you have to be willing to do what? Prove to yourself that nothing's going to get in your way. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, you're and right. When it does, you got to run it over. I mean, and you've got to have dreams and you've got to want things. I mean, uh, and it could be, you know, my big thing for me is whenever I got in the car, since a kid, I've always wanted to live on the water. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to live on the water. I drive by these nice houses. Um, you know, my first year in the business, I made $176,000. It was the most that dealerships ever paid out to a salesperson. I was 25 years old. And, you know, I started making this big money, which I thought was big at the time. And I started looking for land. I wanted to build me a house on the water. So I went to the neighborhood. I started scouting out land of the houses and the land that was around my dealership to where it was a comfortable driving distance. And the max I was willing to drive is 30 minutes. So I found a nice neighborhood called Grand Lagoon and I found me a piece of property out there. And I started working to go working towards that goal of having that piece of land. Now, I missed the piece of land by $10,000, stupid me, never miss waterfront by $10,000, word to anybody out there. But, um, you know, that was my goal. So, you know, and now I live on the water and, um, you know, I'm looking to build a house on the water soon as well. And with the money that we're going to make Andy this year, um, I'll be able to do that. Hell yeah, you will. And look, I'm going to talk about lastly, you know, they talk about this. We talk about the fire in a guy's belly, why he wants to make it. Yep. We talk about the skill that he has. Yep. But also let's talk about what you just said was the why. Yeah. Why the do you want it? 80% yeah. of this business is, okay, you want to make a lot of money, but why? Yeah. Why? Because if you don't yeah. know why... You don't work hard. And you've got to personally be able to answer that question. For me, it's very simple. It's for my brother who calls me all the time and says, hey, Keith, I need an extra $100, $200. Um, I'm not asking you for the money, but he pretty much insinuates that he needs an extra $100 or $200 to make sure the light bill is paid or make sure that he has gas. And now he works a full-time job as a postman. And my dad raising up, growing up, used to tell me, hey, Keith, be a postman. And my whole family's a uh, postman. And uh, and I wanted to go a different route to where I could never be in the position they were in because we never got the, you know, we never got the new go-kart on Christmas. You know, my dad bought us used go-karts for Christmas that didn't run. So 
I'm, and I grew up in a very bad neighborhood. I grew up with nothing. I'm in a 600 square foot uh, house, two bedroom, one bath in the hood. So, I mean, my bicycle used to get stolen two times a week, you know, had to go tracking down to find who stole my bicycle. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a different type of person. Um, you know, I want it bad. My uncle still lives, um, still lives in a very bad neighborhood. And I financially, you know, he took care of me growing up. He used to drop us off at the skating ring, pick us up at the skating ring, take us fish and me and my friends. He did everything. He sacrificed everything for me. So my why now, my why in my belly is to get him out of that position and to get him out of the hood. That's my that's my goal is to get him out. And the only way I can get him out is if I go to work right now and make something happen. Everything else is irrelevant for me. I love it, man. I love it. Okay, well, listen, uh, number one, I appreciate your time. You're amazing. Uh, I'll see you at the April, April After Closer Seminar. Everybody who's coming is going to get a chance to meet Keith. We're going to get crazy. This is going to be nuts. I'm not even telling people what's going to happen because, honestly, anything that you're afraid of in life, anything, any and all fear, I'm taking it out of you. It's gone. When you leave, you aren't going to be scared of anything. 